We're starting the Devil's Night series. Back before I even considered like having a book channel, before I had my book Instagram and everything, I read Credence by Penelope Douglas and I picked it up not knowing anything about the author, not knowing anything about what it was about. And oh boy, was I shocked. <laughs> But ever since then, I've really wanted to read something else by them, and I know a lot of people really do love the Devil's Night series, a lot of people hate it, a lot of people just read it for, honestly, to make fun of it, a lot of people read it because they just really like it. I'm really curious, it's been a while since I've read a dark romance, I am about like three chapters in, I like Rika so far, she seems pretty cool, I kind of vibe with her, I'm having a hard time picturing Michael though for some reason like I just keep picturing him as like kind of like the fan cast of Dean from the score from the off-campus series but like scarier like but I'm really excited to get to Michael's point of view because I haven't gotten to that yet but I'll give updates where am I I'm like 60 pages in we've met Michael we've met the horse <laughs> I already know that I'm not gonna be able to stand Damon until I understand why he is the way that he is. And just like the stuff that he says and does drives me insane. And like, not in a way where I'm like, oh, haha, -ha, like you're funny, like it's a joke. I'm like, no, like you're actually the worst. Like just stop altogether. But Rika girl, how are you just thinking that like your apartment got upgraded? Like, that much from, like, a one-bedroom to a penthouse. Like, I know that they got money, but, like, do they really got it like that? I mean, they might, but I don't know. I'm enjoying it so far. It's definitely, like, uh, like, <laughs> just a little bit of a silly read, but I'm excited. I'm enjoying it, and I want to know what they have in store for her. I just needed to take a moment because I need to pop in here and say this about Corrupt and I'm really enjoying this and I'm really excited about reading the rest of the series. I think that it has the potential to be one of my favorite series just because the universe is so interesting and the characters are so unique and different from other ones that I've ever read before. But anyways, one of my biggest pet peeves and I've only seen this written into the main like male character in books. I had this problem with Declan in Terms and Conditions by Lauren, Osh Ugh. Lauren Asher. I had this problem with Connor Cobalt in the Addicted Callaway series, and he is my favorite man, like, Cobalt away all the way. They're my favorite couple in that series, but same problem with Michael Christ is that these men know what they have in front of them, and they, like, love their woman. They, like, love her so much, but they won't admit it. And this drives me so crazy because I understand that it is realistic to have, you know, some back and forth for there to be some issues with the lead up or build up of a relationship. Fine. But like, Rika's literally being traumatized right now by your friends and like also by you, by not stepping in and doing anything. Like, you've got a lot of groveling to do. Like, I would have made him crawl on the ground. Like, Rika, you're so much better than me, girl. Like, I can't... No. Mm -mm. Also, um, my mom asked me what this book is about. And my whole family has been, like, viewing. And, like, they follow me on my book account. So I'm just like, maybe skip over this one. Because <laughs> I, like, was talking to some of my friends that have read this series. And I was like, what do I say? And they're like, tell your mom that Corrupt is about fencing. <laughs> I feel like I need to take a cold shower after reading that. <laughs> so now I'm about 
more than halfway done. I'm enjoying it. My boyfriend looked up what the books are about and um, let's just say he's frightened. <laughs> but I'm having a good time. I ordered the rest of them and I plan on reading them. And oh my God. Oh. It's like paining me because there's such a push and pull with the two like main characters that are love interests. Like they want each other so bad, but they just won't do it. And they're pissing me off. And it makes me so upset because like there was a scene where um, Michael, that's the main guy's name. Uh, he like just lashed out at her to like push her away. And I'm like, Hi. <laughs> I just want to jump back on and give some final thoughts about Corrupt. So originally I was going to rate it three stars. I think it's between a 3.5 and a 4. And I know some people are probably going to be like, I cannot believe that you're rating this series that high or like the first book in it. But I had a really good time and I really missed Penelope Douglas's writing style. Very fast paced, very easy to get through. There's so many different like twists and turns that it took that I was not expecting. I wasn't expecting to get like an adrenaline rush from reading these books, but I do. I've already started the second one, Hideaway, and I am going to film a reading vlog for this one as well. And I really, like, I'm excited because I thought that I was really just going to be reading this series as like a, like, la la la, like, spacer in between some of my other books. And I do have series that are specifically for that or that I view as that in my mind, like the off-campus series or, um, what other one? I mean, yeah, I guess mainly the off-campus series, but anyways, I, like, really like these books, and I think it's really fun, so I'm enjoying reading them, and I'm really excited for Kai's book. I think once I get through, like, the rest of the books, I want to make, like, a video of, like, tier ranking the horsemen's, like, crimes against humanity, pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> just because like I think that'd be really funny because all this stuff that they do is like crazy um I'm really glad they didn't kill Rika's mom that was nice of them everybody on TikTok and on Instagram and that I know that has like read these books is telling me like you look like you're gonna be a Damon girl like you're gonna love Damon and I'm just like stop like you're probably right but right now I can't stand him like he sucks really bad right now he's just awful I mean he literally tried to kill his best friends um I said this was gonna be spoiler vlog anyways but he literally tried to kill his friends like even Will like and him and Will are like so I mean updates to come on what I think of Damon right now my favorite horseman is Kai and, like, Rika is just, like, girl boss. Like, I really like her a lot. She's awesome. But, anyways, thank you for sticking with me for this fun journey. And I hope that you'll stick around for my next video. And I'll talk to you guys later.